Hello guys and you're welcome. So in our next lesson, let's go ahead and set up the uh, emission for our uh, object, for our jelly. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is to create a, uh, a a sample noise. So let's go ahead and just create that sample noise. So let me just say sample noise. And basically we're going to uh, create an effect. Let's just say a simple noise. There you are, not sample. Sorry about that, guys. So now that we have this uh, simple noise, what we're going to do is to uh, use a node to actually create a noise for an effect. So we're using a uh, Fresnel effect. Let's go ahead and get rid of Blackboard and just zoom in. So now that we have this simple noise, let's drag that into a multiply node. So we now have that multiply. And then we're going to pass in a color. So let's go ahead and just... Uh, Right click and create a color node. And let's set that to an HDR color. And for our color, let's go ahead and set a uh, kind of purplish. Let's set this purple just like that. And then we're going to set this value for to have this uh, make it bright just like that. I think that's okay. Let's just drag it a bit towards the right. And then we're going to plug that into the uh, input of our multiply node. So we have this kind of bluish, uh, purplish um, image. All right. So next from our multiply node, let's go ahead and create a, a blend node. And then we're going to combine with our Fresnel effect. So uh, let's create our Fresnel. And then for our power, we can uh, create a property to set the power. So let's just create a uh, vector. Let's create a, uh, let's go to the blackboard and let's create a vector. And let's call that uh, for now power and let's use caps. So I'll say for now power. And I'll set that value to, let's say, uh, 3.5. So let's drag in for now power. And also let's just drag it over here and pass that into the power node. Right. So we can actually have an option to uh, change that if we want. Also, what I'm going to do is to change this color to a property. So we're going to call that uh, emission color. So let's just say convert to property. And just right here where it says color, we're just going to say uh, emission underscore color. I'll just use, uh, all right, let's just leave it as emission color. So good. So now we have that property. Let's go ahead and use a multiply node. Just say multiply. And also we want to set a uh, emission color to change the color of our Fresnel effect. So that's why we have this uh, multiply node. So right here, let's just go ahead and create a, a color. And let's call this one color underscore two. Let's say uh, emission color. And we'll set that to underscore two just like that. And now that we have our emission color, just go ahead and just set our color. And for our mode, let's set it to a high dynamic range mode. And let's kind of use the same, almost the same value, but this time around, let's make it a bit, you know, slightly uh, dark. And let's just drag this and put it like here. You can actually change this. It's it's not must to use these same uh, values. All right. So uh, so now that we have that, let's drag our emission color too, and just plug it in here, so we can actually see that uh, effect. Nice. So now that we have that emission color too, next what we're going to do is to create a blend node to combine our uh, two multiply nodes. So let's go ahead and just drag from the output of either one and just let's say a blend. 
and wow that blend is very dark but let's go ahead and see how we can uh, change that so let's go ahead and combine this blend also so you can see we have this uh, uh, effect so if we go to the main, uh, main preview let's connect this to our emission so let's drag the output and connect that to the emission input and if we go to our main preview we actually have this uh, color so uh, yeah remember you can always change this and also for the blend mode I feel this is a bit kind of like you know super strong let's go ahead and try uh, darken yeah so darken actually tones that down and we can actually see that effect so you can actually go ahead and set any of these uh, effects you want I'll just stick with darken but remember you can go ahead and change it to any effect you want and finally let's just group these so we can have our scene organized so let's select all our objects let's press ctrl G and let's just zoom in and I'll call that emission color all right so uh, in our next lesson we'll go ahead and keep on changing our uh, object so we can actually get our desired outlook thank you very much for watching